guys. I uh, am Cortland Jacoby, and I write for Punch Drunk Critics. Thanks for having me. Thanks hey, for having Cor us, Cortland. Hi, Punch Drunk. Punch Drunk Critics, yeah. <laughs> um, so, first of all, happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm sure you've gotten that all day, Chris. Not enough, um, Courtney. Thank you very much. Lo <laughs> fail pork to you, too. <laughs> Good. I'm glad. I'm glad. So, um, so Chris, uh, your character is rattled by the appearance of this machine uh, that can reveal other people's life's potential. Um, how was it playing a character that was going through such an existential crisis? I found it quite comforting, I suppose, going through a similar midlife crisis myself. It felt like, well, at least I don't have to deal with the weird machine telling everybody that they're doing their lives wrong. <laughs> <laughs> so he is what seems like a fairly contented person. And then right. you realize that a lot of that contentment is is built on some fairly shaky foundations because the people around him aren't necessarily happy. So it's it's fun to play that because you're on constantly shifting earth. Um, Gabrielle, your little bits of the plot are, are dropped out or are dropped throughout the show. Um, what was the thing that surprised you most about your own character? Because we learn more and more as the series goes on. Um. I I think that I love that she's, first of all, when she stands up to her mother, um, that's huge for her and her world because she's lived in Izzy's shadow her whole life. Um, and she's at that point where she's realizing, hey, a lot of the things that I've gone through with you that have affected how I feel about myself have affected how uh, the type of mother that I can potentially be, um, right. the, the type of uh, personal happiness that I can have for myself. And I feel like for Cass, I just love her finding her strength in those little small ways that for some people, it doesn't seem like a big deal, but for her to be able to like snatch her items out of that store is huge for her just to be able to stand up on her own two feet and face her her monster, you know, <laughs> essentially. Um, and, and finally, for, for both you guys, you have such great comedic chemistry together. Thank you. Uh, what was your favorite part about working with one another? Getting to know Gabby and her great energy and her big heart and um, she's so quick on her feet and it's it's been great. We kind of had to, we got thrown together quite quickly and you have to make a family and that's kind of the way it always works. But you need somebody, uh, you need people around you who are going to be open to that. And so that's been great. This whole family dynamic with Deej as well, our little girl and our beautiful mother-in-law, it's been, it's been, it's been really cool. And Chris, I mean, we all, whatever you assume you know about Chris or how he is in person, you're probably right. right. He's fun. He's funny. Um, he's got great energy. So like our chemistry really just kind of, I think was very organic in a way. And then the script that gave us the words and that, that world that we live in, um, the, the script, David does such a good job and the writers of creating the space for our jobs to be a lot easier. So, um, we took fun. a lot of saunas together in the early days. <laughs> Riverdance right, classing classes. That sounds really, really fun. In a sauna. It was guys. quite the spectacle. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Um, Chris, I did want to say that Moon Boy was my comfort show in college. So. Oh, Aww. sweet. Thank yeah. you very Have much. Have a happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Lord Fela Porik, my darling. Appreciate it. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for checking out the show. If you like what we're laying down, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell to receive notifications for all of our latest stuff.